In the last video, I gave some general information about the geologic time scale, and I mentioned that the time scale was separated into um, different divisions of time, the eon, the era, the period, the epoch. Just like we measure time in months, weeks, days, um, hours, you know, whatever. And um, I spoke about how there are four eons, and the first is the Phanerozoic, and then the other three are the Proterozoic, Archean, and the Hadean. And we also, and I also explained um, the reason why we lump all of these three together and we call it the Precambrian time. Um, and again, the reason for that is that we really don't know a whole lot about these three eras and there isn't a lot of fossil evidence, but there are some things that we, we can surmise and we do kind of know. First off, in the Hadean, all right, the Hadean is when Earth was first developing. It was very soft and molten-like. So this was the time when the Earth um, became solid. All right, so the, the crust solidifies, and we have a rocky surface. So then, um, you know, the oceanic crusts and the continental crusts develop. Um, it's also during the end of this time um, where oceans, oceans start to develop. And um, how water came to Earth, that is a topic for another video. <clears throat> so the oceans start to develop, and then... We move on to the, let me get another color, the Archean, the Archean um, Eon. And the Archean is a time where of, of ancient life. Ancient life. And this is where the first single-celled, one-cell organisms um, begin to appear. And so they call it the, the Archean because the word Archean refers to one of the kingdoms um, that refer to single cell organisms or prokaryotes. And I'm going to spell this wrong. I know it. Prokaryotes. <laughs> All right, whatever. All right, so we're talking about single cell organisms that they that do not have nucleus, does, does not have a nucleus, and um, you know they're like bacteria or uh, blue green algae. And the blue green algae um, um, is a photosynthetic organism where it does photosynthesis, it's going to give off ox oxygen, and this is the time when um, free oxygen or you know, O2 first started to enter our atmosphere. All right, let me grab yet one more color for number three. And we have the, the Proterozoic Eon. And um, here we left off with uh, prokaryotic cells, single cell organisms, and so <clears throat> later on in time, we start to get multicellular or more, all right, more complex, complex organisms. And uh, much of that is colonized blue-green algae. And here we get um, <clears throat> large groups of blue-green algae. And so we get more and more oxygen into into the atmosphere and this is where you know we get some oxygen build up build with an l build up into our atmosphere um so the 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 types of organisms become more complicated and over time we get um, even more complicated multi-celled animals and um, like for instance, sponges started to appear, and then the, the development of other sea creatures. It's also the time when um, the continents w had made a supercontinent, not Pangaea, but the first one called Rodinia. 
R-O-D-I-A-I-N-I-A, Rodinia. So, um, so you can see a lot of different things have happened uh, from the beginning of Earth where it was very soft, it developed into a hard rock, oceans developed, and then it starts off with very simple forms of life in the ocean. Uh, Blue-green algae starts to form and starts to provide oxygen for the atmosphere. And so that kind of lays the foundation for life as we know it. And so more complicated organisms start to build up, starting out in the sea um, and with, with animals such as sponges. And then it, it evolves from there. All right. So... Um, that was part two, and I guess I'll see you on part three when we talk about the Phanerozoic Eon. Thanks for watching.